you might have read in the news the El Dorado Resorts uh, just uh, purchased uh, the Ala Capri properties uh, statewide, and there are three properties here in Iowa uh, that will uh, be, affected, be affecting our oil market. So, uh, a very strong company who's done heavy purchasing of properties in the last five or six years. Are, and uh, so, uh, we'll see how that comes. Uh, some of the properties have already had some uh, work done. Uh, the property in Bettendorf has gone through some transformation. We might expect some of the other properties to go through similar upgrades uh, in the future. Well, uh, as, as you also read, Wild Rose proposed building a boutique casino in Cedar Rapids. Uh, this come uh, after the commission has uh, not approved gaming license for a bigger casino in Cedar Rapids. And uh, uh, that, that is yet to be seen. You know, the concept of boutique casinos became popular in Colorado. But here in Iowa, whenever a casino was built, uh, the Gaming Commission have requested that uh, uh, permanent infrastructures uh, and amenities have uh, come to that community. So I don't know how the T casino will work in Iowa. I think they have their hurdles uh, to to uh, to work with. Uh, hopefully, of course, this is something that we will probably have to oppose. If, uh, when the time comes, I think we already have enough casinos. You can tell by the gaming revenues in Iowa that uh, there's really no new money coming in. Uh, it's just uh, a recirculation of uh, gamers uh, throughout the properties.